Kylie. Next month marks two years since the death of Prince. And a toxicology report just made public shows he had exceedingly high concentrations of fentanyl in his body when he died. Associated Pro Press reports a confidential toxi toxicology report details that the concentration of fentanyl in Prince's blood was 67.8 micrograms per liter. That doesn't mean anything to you or me, but experts say that number is, quote, exceedingly high, even if someone has been taking opioids for an extended period of time. They say between three and 58 micrograms can be deadly. Prince also found with large concentrations of the drug in his liver and his stomach, fentanyl is considered 50 times more powerful than heroin. This news comes as those at Paisley Park are planning another tribute for the rock superstar. From April 19th to the 22nd, just a couple weeks away, it'll include several performances, along with a new tribute fence where fans can leave messages, flowers, memorabilia. It was so moving in the days after Prince's death. On April 21st, there'll be a big celebration at Target Center called Prince Live on the Big Screen. Prince's siblings have not spoken out publicly about this new report, but they did receive investigative documents from Carver County earlier this month. Their attorney says those documents will give them some guidance on who might be responsible for Prince's death. Investigators will be looking into what sparked a massive fire in Forest Lake last night. This is how large the fire was when this video, uh, Brianna LaRoque recorded it. The fire was in the Lakes Trading Company, which is a gun store and a shooting range. Firefighters were called there just after 8.30 last night. Now, they had to call in extra help from surrounding fire departments. It took them several hours to get the fire out. Next door to the gun shop is a music shop. We talked to a music instructor who said it looked like the divider between the two stores was protecting the music store. I walked around both sides, and it, it looks intact. Uh, the gun shop next door looks like it's destroyed. Lakes Trading Company wrote on Facebook last night that everyone got out safe. They said the range roof collapsed, but the shop roof appeared to be intact. 60 Russian diplomats believed to be spies have been given a week to get out of the U.S. It's believed to be the largest U.S. expulsion of Russian diplomats ever. The action is in retaliation for a nerve gas attack on a former Russian spy and his daughter in Britain this month. Now, Russia denies being behind the attack, calls these dismissals an unfriendly act. In all, more than 20 countries have expelled dozens of Russians because of this incident. Vice President Mike Pence will be in Minnesota and North Dakota today to promote the recently approved tax cuts. He's then uh, going to Fargo. He'll be there for a political reception for a U.S. Senate candidate. Tonight is when Pence will be in Minneapolis. He's going to an event for the Great America Committee. It's called Protect the House. Tomorrow, Vice President will deliver the keynote speech at an America First Policies event on tax cuts.